Why Lego We Do? The idea for adding Lego We Do to my We Do to my classroom started with a conversation I had with Renee Rhodes about how engaged her son was with the Lego robotics kit he had bought at home. I went to Lego Education Online and found that they have kits and materials designed for teaching early programming and robotics to elementary students. I decided to order a small set to try with an after-school class that I offer through community services called Creativity and Design with Technology. As you probably know, Lego is having a resurgence in popularity with our kids and is actually the most popular toy ever manufactured. I was fortunate to have four Harrison Middle School and Yarmouth High School students who came to help me with my after-school class and I knew that between us we would be able to figure out this new project for our second, third, and fourth graders taking the class. For the last couple of years we've been using the laptops to explore the free program Lego Digital Designer in the after school class and in some of the grade level classes. One note is that at the same time that we are facing pressures to standardize education and increase formal assessments, there's also a lot of interest by educators in looking for ways to foster creativity and innovation at all grade levels. This slide shows a recent book by Tony Wagner, who is a prominent speaker about education, titled Creating Innovators. Wagner posits that a childhood of creative play leads to deep-seated interests which in adolescence and adulthood blossom into a deeper purpose for career and life goals. Creativity is one of the three emphases in K-12 technology in Yarmouth. In this project, the idea is for students to create a des a follow directions to create a project which involves then connecting a motor or sensor to a laptop to make it do certain things and they can manipulate the variables to change the results. Another emphasis is collaboration. My experience has been that two students working together works well as they are both fully involved. Some of the projects can interact with each other like a figure that kicks an object and a figure that protects the goal. Our district goal of engagement is very evident when students are working. When I pulled the students in my after school creativity and design class, there was unanimous support for adding this to the third grade if it were ever possible. Some of the results I would hope to see would be more interest in robotics and design as students move up through the grades. It is also my experience that there are more boys drawn to this type of activity than girls but that girls are more likely to select such an activity in the future if they are introduced at an early age. With the emphasis on writing in the Common Core, students can do observational writing as well as creating fiction stories about their projects. I've noticed that some elementary schools are using a curriculum from the Boston Science Museum called Engineering is Elementary for explorations of engineering and design in the early grades. I hope to be looking at this as an option as some of the lessons may fit with our science units. 